that's a little better. You, 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 you. I'm gonna stop talking now because I gotta give Oliver his bath. So, mm -hmm. mm. hey guys, what is going up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Candy, and um, if you haven't told by the title, we are going to be talking about 31 things that I have learned in 31 years. <laughs> This should be interesting. <laughs> if you are part of my fam, thank you so much for guys for coming and checking me out and checking out this video. I appreciate you guys' love and support. If you are new, welcome, 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 and um, welcome. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this damn video. So as you can tell by the topic, this is going to be 31 things that I learned in 31 years. I am a Scorpio, and if you follow me on Instagram, I am doing a lot of like, is Scorpio November makeup to kind of represent a Scorpio, because I feel like we've been talked about a little bit too much and we make it seem like we bad, we ain't bad people, okay? We just intense as a motherfucker. But today's video, I wanted to kind of share a little bit of like a haha, -ha and then get a little serious kind of things of the things that I've learned in the last 31 years. I just kind of wanted to share out my opinions. This is not supposed to be too serious, so please don't take it that way. It is just my life experiences. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. I will love So the first thing I want to say is it's okay to be shy, but just don't say anything. There's been many times that, especially me growing up in high school, dating people that I don't know, meeting new people at work where I'm just super shy, I don't wanna say anything, I'm kind of the person, and this might be a Scorpio trait, I don't know, but we're very like kind of investigative. Like I wanna know everything about you before I spill one particular thing about me. And even though that may be the case, it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to be shy or you have to be shy about it. You just, you know, just don't be shy about it. Number two would be speak your mind and do the action. You can say a lot of words, but man, does action actually show you. There have been multiple times in my life where I've spoken my mind, but I didn't follow through with that action. And that spoken could come from me being a mom to me working in the past, my divorce and my past husband, you know what I'm saying? Like, Because you can say all you want, but until you actually do it, or until you actually put that action in motion, it's really not gonna mean anything and it's really not gonna do anything for you either. So speak your mind. Do the action. Tip number three, avoid gossip and drama. Avoid it if you possibly can. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mom says this to you. Pretty self-explanatory. Stay away from the gossip and the goddamn drama. If you don't want nobody talking about you, or you don't want nobody doing something behind your back, then stay out of it. Then you're gonna be fighting people, you're gonna be coming at them, and it's just like, just avoid it. Number four, money isn't everything. Okay, this is coming from the girl who doesn't technically have a job. I'm not really getting paid at all for being a stay-at-home mom. I don't have a job. Pays me right now, so this is coming from literally, genuinely from my heart when I say money isn't everything. Yes, money does pay for a lot of things, and yes, money makes you feel delicious, because it makes me feel delicious, okay? <laughs> But it isn't everything. There's other things in life that completely covers what money you could do. And you know, it's great for have that money, but who are you gonna spend that money on if you don't have anybody with you? Or where are you gonna go if nothing in your life is fulfilling? Money isn't everything, okay? Do what you love. Knitting kitten shoes, did knit kitten shoes. Making random popsicle stick stuff for kids or for whoever, then do it. And if it makes you money, baby, that's even better. But just do whatever makes you happy. Don't do something that's terrible because I did that working in a corporate job after closing my cosmetic business just so that I can put food on the table and make sure bills were paid for my little one. And I hated it. <laughs> I went there every day because it was a job, but it's not necessarily the thing that I love doing. And I definitely didn't love hearing people about me on things I had nothing to really do or even cared about so take it from me y'all do what you love and if you can make money out of it girl you're good you good mistakes are okay just make sure you learn from those mistakes everyone makes mistakes I'm not perfect probably made a mistake earlier today it's life you made a mistake learn from them share the love share the positivity on you learning that experience take pictures <laughs> and um hold on hold that phone okay 
So the reason why I say you should take pictures is because in high school I brought, I was either had a disposable camera, kind of glad that I did because I wouldn't have like photos like this of me growing up. Um, let's just, let's just take a peek, okay? As you can see, I have, <laughs> I've always been the girl wearing, um, a hoodie. That, I mean, don't forget to take pictures, okay? Freeballing. It is okay to freeball. When I got my tits done, I was like, F bras, F panties, unless I have to. Other than that, I'm freeballing it. Treat yourself. Now, treat yourself could come in many forms. It could be buying yourself a DVD. It could be buying yourself a Gucci watch. It could be buying yourself a goddamn new beanie. Whatever it is you want to do, you should be able to treat yourself. Quality over quantity. It can come in so many ways, but really what I'm trying to say is just because you may have had 10 best friends growing up and now that you're older and you've changed and you've gone through things, um, those same 10 best friends may not be there for you or may not be in the same aura that you have and that's okay. I'd rather have a good one, two best friends, like serious best friends, than 10 women who are men trying to say they're my friend and they really aren't for me at all or for my family. So for me, it's been more of a quality more than quantity. Um, Ritzy, my bestie, boo boo, I love you. I so love you. But the one thing I hate that you made me do is pluck my goddamn eyebrows. I'm an 80s baby, so that means I grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s. Back then, the, the eyebrows that were popping was the no eyebrows. Instead of listening to my mom, I did not get it professionally done. I just had my best friend do them. Wrong! Let me just show you some examples of what my eyebrows look like. Okay? Candy don't have none. Compared to Dominique, Dominique's got more brows than I do. Like, what kind of bull crap is that? This is me working on Blockbuster. Look at that! Okay, new eyebrows. I, I don't have any. Don't do it. This is my bestie, Maria. And uh, this was taken in July of 2006. So that's the year we graduated. And look at my eyebrows. Look at the eyebrows. So Maritza, I love you, boo-boo, but I've been trying to correct that for <laughs> literally for my entire life. I've been trying to correct my eyebrows. I feel like the minute I went bald is the minute that like I have literally felt like the most sexiest, the most... I just feel me. I feel like I'm really in my own skin. The fact that I can rock anything with no hair. The fact that I like to just wear beanies like this. And having no hair, it's cut down so much time. I gotta say, me being bald has definitely made me feel more in my own skin. Like I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, I'm bald. And yeah, I got some bold ass lips. And yes, I got some bold ass eyes on. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Co-parenting does exist. I have to say that for the almost 10 years, it's been nothing but a roller coaster with Isaiah's father. And I can definitely say the last year, it has been a complete turnaround of where the communication's better, the understanding what it's supposed to be the child, not about your feelings. We communicate more. He understands why I do certain things for Isaiah. Not about you. It's not about your feelings. It's not about how you feel about the situation. It's about your kids. Co-parenting can exist. It can exist for you guys. Stress less. That might be hard to say, and I know I for sure am not perfect at it. You know, you gotta find that balance. And for me, the little balance that I got from it was doing some exercises that would include like stretching or some yoga or just meditation. Do whatever you need to do to kind of decompose and like not let those things really interfere with your life because the next day will be okay. You're gonna figure it out. Try to stress less. And it's something I've been working on a lot these last couple of years. Speak positively about yourself. And, and that's mentally in your brain. I have a concept sometimes of bringing myself down a little bit, especially when it comes to body issues. It's hard to, when you're trying to be positive about yourself and be positive about your body weight issues, 
that when you see yourself in, my, in the mirror, you're like, oh, you look good, but then you still say something negative. That's what I'm trying to stop myself from saying because I'm trying to install that in my, in my daily routine where if I do say something negative about myself, that I twist that around immediately and give myself a positive remark because I don't want that negative idea to keep floating in my head because it's all mental. It's literally all mental. And I just don't want me to think negative about my body all the time. For me, I'm trying to forgive people. I'm trying to install this forgiveness as a key. If you forgive that person and you let that stress go and you let all that anger and you let all the cry out, you kind of just mend your own heart at that same time so you're not having that negative energy. Forgiveness is the key. Forgive that person even if you don't really feel like it. Let all that go. I guarantee you, you will feel 100% better. Makeup brushes are like your friends. You got some of those makeup brushes that have been with you for years, man, and they will stay true and true. But you got some makeup brushes that can't even stand one wash or you gotta toss it. The bristles are messing up your foundation or messing up your eye looks. Like friendships are a lot like makeup brushes. Some of them stay and then some of them you just gotta let go. There is no love like the kind of love you have for your kids. I've had two miscarriages and two pregnancies. Having Isaiah at 21, you know, wasn't ideal, but it is definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. Now, Oliver, he's more my rainbow baby because I was told I couldn't have any more kids because of my condition that I have. And I was okay with having just the one, but then I got the plus sign for Oliver and it was just another pure, sight of joy we have a special bond and those are my boys they're little shitheads but they're such amazing shitheads i love them so in that instance there's no love like having the kind of love that you have for your kids don't plan do there's been multiple times where i'm just like i'm gonna do this 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 and this especially me being a mom planning just doesn't kind of actually work whatsoever so anyway um plan <laughs> like this I plan on doing a video. You never know what happens, little man. Girl, you know how I know, mama? Don't plan, just do. Work with it. Okay, so we're gonna finish this video with little man here, so. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> Pilates are surprisingly really, really relaxing. I decided to try out uh, Pilates because I wanted to get my core back to be strength. And so um, I did Pilates, I did a little video, and I was like, this is surprisingly pretty nice. And ever since then, Pilates has been my number two thing that I do besides butt exercises, especially with the breathing, because learning the breathing with the way Pilates goes helps me out with a lot of things now that I'm realizing like helps me breathe when I'm like anxious or if I need to calm down or if I'm angry. I know to do those eight counts and it will help me kind of like reassess myself. Cut yourself off technology for a little bit. Um, I at least try to have a rule where I'm not on my phone when he's awake at least. Editing or content posting or that time away from him As, and also with Isaiah because he's in school so I try to not to be too much in it. You want to be more in tune with the family and not in tune with the phone. Know your limit and know what you can handle. What I mean by that is, let's just say for instance for me, I know I can't I can't be doing tequila, I can't be doing some dark liquor, and I can't be mixing vodka. I'm the kind of girl that I do one drink and one drink does me great. Captain. Captain Morgan and some Dr. Pepper. That's what I know. <laughs> and what I don't want to know is the aftermath of having to have four different kind of liquors in your body and trying to work or try to be a parent the next day. Definitely learned in the past that you can't, can't, you can't, land, you can't do all that. You can't, is not take myself so goddamn seriously. I think because I am a Scorpio that I literally have probably taken a lot of things super serious that was like really nothing to nobody. And I'm pretty sure Micah could say this that I do a pretty I probably still do this to him and I'm probably I'm or I react immediately to certain things if I hear him like wait what? <laughs> wait, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Try not to take yourself so seriously. Probably not that big of a deal. It's probably not going to kill you. It's probably not going to cause any such drama for yourself if you probably just take a few seconds and not be so damn serious about it. Blast motherfucking music, okay? 
blast that motherfucker. Blast it. I listen to things from Panic of the Disco to Little Duvall to Snoop Dogg, Carrie Underwood. I listen to all kinds of and whatever I'm feeling it and whatever I want, I blast the hell out of it. And I don't care what or who's listening. If you're crying and you're having a bad day, blast it. If you're having a good day and you're just like, whatever, this this some good kind of beat. Okay, Cardi. Blast it. If you feel in yourself. Blast it! Now these next few ones are pretty hard for me because I had to go through I feel like one My 20s was like a really hard decade for me. I, I lost my father. I lost the majority of my family during that time Um, I went through two divorces. It was a pretty rough time pretty pretty rough decade for me so these next few things are things that I did to kind of help myself um, let go and kind of just move on from the situations so the first thing is is letting go is okay it took me a long time to really understand that because you really don't you, you either a have your last say or you want to make your last point or you know you feel like you gave all and no one's reciprocating it to you or responding back to you. so letting go you know um, that notion of not letting that drama or anything like that or that issue really bother you it um, yeah let go the next thing I would say is that <laughs> it's okay to be crazy okay it's okay to be crazy and not give a fuck about it it's okay to want to go ham on somebody it's okay to not fucking today don't fucking care so don't you may look crazy to them you may seem a little bananas but don't give a fuck don't give a fuck cry it out there's times where I'm still crying it out and I think that's more because I'm I think that's more because I'm still grieving over my father and it's been almost six years and I'm still not a hundred percent. It's nothing that no one can really do unless you've been through that trauma of going through death and especially if it being a parent. It's a whole nother ball game and no one really understands that kind of hurt, that kind of sadness, that kind of like depression that you can get from that. Cry it out. And another thing that goes along with that is take care of your mental health. If you have any type of mental issues that you're going through or you just need someone to talk to, take care of yourself, please. Because no one else is going to know what's going on with you. No one else is going to be able to take care of you unless you do the first steps and ensuring that you are okay. I've done it for myself. I've asked other people to do it. It's super beneficial. It's super helpful. Please. Take care of your mental health. Take care of you. Sometimes you want your family there. It doesn't necessarily mean that they want to be there. And in my situation is, you know, not all of my family members are 100%, at least with me. And so I can't force them to do anything. I can't force them to talk to me. I can't, can't force it. As much as I would like our relationship to be different, I just... I, I can't, as much as I want them there, it doesn't necessarily mean that they want to be and I have to be willing to let that door still be open when they are ready to come see and talk to me. So that's my little last bit on family stuff. Challenge yourself. I said this in the beginning of the year, we're almost at the end of the year and I literally have been challenging myself this entire year when it comes to makeup, relationships, content. And I'm challenging myself now so that I make sure that I can grow who I am and who I want to be. Always reflect on your year before so that you can make sure that you're actually changing who you are and what you wanted to be. Reflect that. I actually do mine at my birthday. I don't do mine at the beginning of the year because I feel like that's a bunch of bullshit. Everybody changes within the first month of you making that New Year's resolution. But when you turn your birthday, you're like, man, a whole year has gone by. A whole thing has gone by. Like, was this person here in my life? Was that person here in my life? Was I doing that? Did I change that? Did I, did I get what I wanted when I wanted to do whatever I wish for? Like, Whenever a whole new year comes around, you should reflect off that. You should reflect off that year and say, did I make those changes? Because if you didn't, then you know what you should be on track now. Older men do treat girls great. Mine sure does. He treats me like a freaking queen. And he makes me blush. If I could blush. I don't know. Is that possible for a black person? <laughs> but he makes me blush. As I'm getting all giddy and getting all smiley and talking about him. Right, boo-boo? Hey. What's that? Just say yes. Yes. I am just happy of who I am and I just <laughs> I'm gonna stop.
not rambling on i've been talking for a fucking long time this is probably like a long ass video it's 31 things that i learned in 31 years so i hope you guys enjoy this video please let me know in the comments below what was your first or what was your one of the takeaways that i told you today in this video let me know what you guys think and um love you guys i will check you out at the next one Free.